Poco X3 or the Poco X3 NFC. Project Infinity X version 1.3 uh, 5th July 2024 is the security patch 4.14348 is the kernel used Saturday July 13 build this is Android version is 14 here we will come back here and again this is typical home screen and app drawer and these are the apps available and some of them I have installed and this is the quick settings travels and guys once you boot for the first time it will be too much laggy wait for particular time I mean wait some more time you spend with this ROM it will become smoother reboot several times then it will make smoother experience and in the edit session you also get these other options sync option is not available though no Dolby Atmos or anything like that you also see the data usage from typical thing you can enable or disable from here you can also keep the data saver and if you press and hold here, I get multiple custom styles are given here. Lock screen customizations are working fine. Home screen and even uh, wallpapers here, nothing has been pre installed, only one. Themed icons and again, app grid. You get plenty of options here too. And if I want to show the apps like dialer, you get this kind of dialer here. You can directly make the video call from here also. It will, announce, it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call, which is good thing in my opinion. Game space is young. Delta is given, FM radio is given here. And the Maya browser is also pre installed here. We will show some results in the gallery. Let's get started here. On all, yeah. Starting with the Android benchmark, it's very low, guys. 2 lakhs, uh, sorry, 23. Yeah, 2 lakhs, 39,543 is the score. Very less. 0.1 degrees Celsius is the temperature is a 5 percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing in this POCO X3 after installing this project infinity ROM 742 is the single score 1825 is a multi score guys this is key pin score and CTS profile match and basic integrity both getting past devices certified here and these are the readers we test with graph and numericals DRM information is there 10 support and level certification is done here 230 Mbps, I am getting Intel fiber connection here around 200 Mbps my plan getting 230 and we get disappointed here charging slowly 427 pm 47 percentage 431 pm 50 percentage 441 pm 54 percentage charging slowly that's the biggest downside of this ROM but what is good sign of this ROM is the battery life straight away show you that the battery life is very very good here I haven't faced any single idle drain from 4 pm to now 4.48 pm it's how it is really good the battery life is very good but slow charging no one will accept that let's see if they can release one more fix update with this particular room you can directly slash the drone and check out there are plenty of options available for us we need not to jump into any particular room if you're liking this room you can definitely put it out sound and vibration these are the settings you get Display settings again, dark theme, pitch black condition is there here. And refresh rate, adaptive refresh rate is given. These are the options you get. Accessibility menu, which is my handy face feature, guys. Definitely, you should use that. And into system again, you get show me parts like direct sound settings we get because we don't have any Dolby Atmos, even audio effects files here. Another things you get are haptic feedback level is good to hear. They have given the intensity, but it's not as good as Everest OS, Naptic Feedback Strength, and uh, Location, Google Max, Google Pay, all are working fine days in this ROM, but charging slowly might make you uh, away from this ROM. When it color this and the customizations you get here, there are a few, as you can see. Regarding lock screen, you get print of customizations, status bar customizations are also there. And QS panel very similar to that. You would this is battery bar, and you also get these options like buttons, power menu, notifications, and this is gestures, navigation. Okay, let's check that navigation mode, gesture navigation. You get adjustment of pill length, no radius though, and yeah, 
You also get this miscellaneous settings to unlock high FPS counting, BGM kind of games and unlimited photo storage in Google Photos. These are the things we get and this is the actual settings. I haven't faced any issues in this strong base. If you have, let me know in the comment section. As I said before, you also get this camera application guess and very basic camera. If you want to use anything else, you can always use the Arno G camera ni G Cam Portal MC AGC or uh, I have a WhatsApp group for this particular day. Join the group if you have not joined it. And I was speaking about the battery uh, charging speed is low and battery life is good here. And we'll see the gaming experience on this particular round base. As I said before, you get that smooth extreme plus options here. How it actually handles. I was actually surprised. Yes, the gaming experience was good in this round. As you can see, there was a slight lag. That is accepted. Again, if you click classic matches. That will be even more. Let's saw the tactics. This will make better rather than internet connectivity and the ROM users. You also should have that kind of tactics and game plan and other things, guys. That is also a major ROM in the gameplay. Okay, this is the volume panel. This is the quick settings toggles. The gaming experience is really good here, but I can't name it as a best gaming ROM yet. But if you are using it as a daily driver and the gaming experience is the next level, let me know in the comment section again. Yeah, it is just a mess. Anyhow, this is the gaming experience in this ROM. If you are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button guys. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel guys. Uh, I will meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smiling. Bye bye for now.